scam, you guys. What a scam. That is honestly crazy to me. Talk about copying your friend's homework, but just making it slightly different so you don't get caught. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today's video is all about trying Timu versus Shein products. Now I've already done this video once before on this channel a couple of weeks ago and you guys really enjoyed it so I thought I would do a part two and in this video we're going to be testing out a whole bunch of new products that are basically from lots of different categories. These are products that are exactly the same on both websites so we're going to see if they actually sell the same product or not. If you guys did miss part one of this video, I'll link it in the eye, so definitely check it out because that was the first video I did. And let's just say after that first video, I was pretty shook by the results. So I am really excited to see if these new products in this video are going to be the same or if they're going to be different. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So first things first, every product on this side is going going to be the Shein version and every product on this side is going to be from Timu. All right, so the very first battle of this video is for this product right here. This is a pair of trainers that was pretty much advertised as the exact same product on both of these websites. However, they did have a minor kind of difference in price points. So on Shein, this was £13.53, very affordable. However, on Timu, this same pair of trainers was almost £16. It was £15.90. I really wonder if there's gonna be a slight difference because of the price point. I mean, in the photos, they look exactly the same. So first up, we have the Shein pair. This is how it has arrived. It comes in a little zip bag. And these are the trainers, pretty standard. I really, really like the neutral kind of colors. And the thing that I really liked about these trainers was this like little woven part here. I really like that effect. This is what they look like from the top down. This is the sole. So yeah, I really, really like these. Now, let's take a peek at the Timu version, see if they're any different. I mean, at a first glance, they look exactly the same. Okay, first thing that I notice is that they literally have fur lining the inside of the shoe. Are you seeing that? It's even on the inside of here. I mean, that's quite nice. It's soft. Apart from that, at a first glance, these shoes look pretty much identical, right? Wrong. They are actually very different. The sole on the underneath looks very much the same but this sole of the shoe is a lot thicker and it's very very spongy let me just compare it side by side look at the height of the shoes this one is way chunkier and way taller than this one look at them from the back as well the timu one is beefy here is a side by side profile very very similar like so similar but there are slight differences i'm talking minor differences like this part here on the sheen shoe it doesn't have it on the Timu one. Color wise, they are definitely made in the same factory, like for sure. What's really strange to me is the fact that Timu advertised this shoe exactly the same as this one, but it is so far from it. Another difference with the Timu shoe is that this actually has writing on it, whereas the Shein version does not. That is honestly crazy to me. I feel like this is a very interesting start of the video. Now moving on to the next item, we're now gonna be trying out this hair clip. So the one from Shein was very similar in price to the Timu one. It was only a couple of pence difference. Here we have both of them. Let's see if they're exactly the same. I have a feeling that with smaller accessories like this, they are more inclined to be exactly the same and just be made from the same manufacturer. But regardless, I thought I would test it out anyways. So first up, we have the Shein version on this side. Here is the bow up close. It's just basically on a black sort of clip. I really, really like it. I think it's gonna look so cute in my hair. And now we have have the Timu version. It pretty much looks exactly the same. Although, hang on a minute. I think the ribbon might be different. What? Okay, that is clear as day to me that this Shein side is way better than the Timu side. Look at this ribbon. It is so bad. In theory, it looks like the same ribbon, but I just feel like this one has been put together better than this one. Or maybe this one has just been way too squished in the parcel. I can't really tell, but either way, this one looks a lot worse than the Shein one. As for the clip, it seems that they have used exactly the same base clip and then attached this ribbon to it. So I would 
say this is the same product. All right, so now moving on to something a little bit more substantial. We're now gonna be moving on to some clothing. The next item I'm gonna be battling against the two shops is this one. It's basically a matching two-piece. It's a skirt and kind of like a jumper. So this set from Shein was way cheaper. It was only £14.50. However, on Timu, it was actually £16.70. So quite a substantial difference, I would say. First up, let's take a look at the version from Shein and see what this one is like. All right, so as you can see, it comes in two different pieces. The first half is the top, which I really, really love. Here is a close-up of the fabric and the quality. I really, really like it, actually. It's got a bit of a high neck, which I love. I don't really like turtlenecks, so this is perfect. It's got a little bit of like a drop shoulder. It's got the cuff, and it seems to be quite like a cropped top. Then we have the maxi skirt, which actually is a maxi dress. I had no clue. From the photo, I was convinced that it was just a maxi skirt, but you can actually wear this on its own without the jumper, so that's really good. So here is the dress. It's got the same fabric to it and it's got straps. It's actually very, very nice quality. I really like the fabric. It doesn't seem to be see-through or anything, so that's great. And I'm actually not sure if this is gonna be a maxi dress. I think it's gonna be a little bit more midi, but I guess we'll see. So that was the Shein version. Now let's take a look at the Timu one. With this being like two pound more, I would expect this to be even better quality, if anything. Okay, first up, we have the top. And okay, straight away, I I feel like there's a difference. I mean, the sort of neckline is way more scooped and I feel like this part here is just not as prominent. I mean, yeah, look at the difference. This is the Shein and then this is the Timu. So different. Now the fabric of this one does feel a little bit thinner, I have to say. It just feels like there's not as much weight to it. As for the dress, let's see what this is like. I wonder if this is also gonna have straps. Oh, okay. This is completely different. Look at this, guys. I mean, yeah, it does have straps, but it's not strappy. It actually has a back to it. That is so different from the Shein version. I mean, these are definitely completely different products. This dress also seems to be a lot more like straight down and just doesn't have an awful lot of shape to it. However, just like the Shein one, it does kind of fan out in the bottom. How can I show you guys? Can you see this? It like, basically the skirt does this. It like fans out. I mean, style wise, the way that they're probably gonna appear on my body is gonna be very similar. Again, talk about copying your friend's homework, but just making it slightly different so you don't get caught. I guess let's try these both on next to each other and see what they look like. All right, so first up here is the Timu version. I actually feel like there's nothing wrong with this. It's a very, very nice two-piece. I love how flowy the skirt is. I've just tied it off to the side, kind of how they did in the photo, just to kind of get that, like, original styling that they meant for this outfit. But obviously, you could wear it just normally like this, which I don't think it has quite the same charm. I am just gonna tie it back up so you guys get the full picture. I feel like it's actually such a cute outfit. I really love the movement that it has, and I wouldn't say it's see-through per se. I mean, can you guys see my underwear? It's kind of hard to tell from this far away, but yeah, I don't think you can. Once I'm editing this, I might just be thinking, Roxy, you were completely wrong. But yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the Timu version. Now let's compare it with the Shein side. And here is the Shein version. Oh my gosh, the difference between the actual fit of both of these items from different stores is just completely crazy. The Shein one just fits so much nicer. I I wish I actually showed you guys the waistline of the other one, but it was just so much baggier. I actually didn't even think that the Timu version looked cute just with the top like undone like this. That's why I tied it up straight away. But with the Shein version, I feel like it looks so cute and so snatched like this, but you can obviously tie it up as well. So let's see what that looks like. Is it just me or does this just look 10 times better comparing it to the Timu one? I feel like I way prefer the neckline of this one as well. It just looks more luxurious if you know what I mean. As for the skirt and the movement of it, I feel like it's very, very similar to the Timu one. Fabric wise, it just doesn't really differ too much for me. It's mostly just how like fitted it is to my body. This one, I just feel like it was made for me, whereas the other one was a bit baggy. All right, now moving on to the next item. We're now going to be trying out this jacket. The second I saw this jacket, I was like obsessed with it. I really, really like the vibe of it. And again, I managed to find it on both Shein and Timu using the same photo. Now on Shein, I managed to get this for £16.52 and then on Timu, it was £23.32. 
99 Again, quite a big difference in price. So here are the jackets. Let's see how they compare with each other. I guess let's switch things up a little bit and try out the Timu one first, seeing as it was the more expensive one. Okay. Here we go. This is the jacket. And honestly, it feels very cheap. I don't know, like the fabric just literally feels like felt. Like, you know when you used to do crafting as a kid at school and you would use felt? Well, that's what this is made of. I like the look of it. I think it looks better on camera than it does in person. But honestly, when I tell you this feels so cheap, it really does. I'm not gonna knock it right away though. I feel like we have to give it a good chance. So anyway, this is what it looks like. The pockets are functioning, so that's great. It has a lot of like loose threads everywhere. But I do feel like in a weird way, this is giving like Chanel vibes, but like Wish version, you know? So that's that. That's the jacket. This is the one from Timu. Now now, the one from Shein, it feels a lot heavier. I have higher hopes for this one, even though this one was the cheaper one. All right, so here it is. It feels pretty much the same. Oh, wait, what? What is this? Wait, was the other one supposed to have this as well? Hold on a minute. Oh my gosh. The Timu one was supposed to have a scarf that matches the coat and it didn't. It literally doesn't have it. What a scam, you guys. What a scam. Anyways, the Shein one actually comes with a little scarf, which I think is really cute. In terms of the actual jacket, it looks exactly the same, doesn't it? It really does. Let's just compare side by side. I mean, fabric wise, I feel like they've used exactly the same fabric, to be honest. Oh, I've just realized this one has different buttons. This one has like tortoise shell buttons, whereas Whereas this one has black buttons. I actually feel like I prefer the black. It just goes better with like the vibe of the jacket. Oh my gosh, I've also just noticed on the TV one, the sleeves have like this black trimming, whereas on the Shein one, it doesn't. Wow, I'm getting so shook right now because this one didn't have the scarf, but this one doesn't have the black trimming. Which one do we prefer? I have no idea. Now to make it into a little bit of an outfit, I thought I would pair it with another item and that's some jeans. So I picked up these jeans from both of the websites. They were exactly the same at picture. On Shein, these jeans cost $17.33, whereas on Timu, they cost $17.33. 54. All right, here are the Shein jeans first. I really love this like raw kind of edged hem on the top. It then has these really cool stitchings all down the leg. And as you can see, they're pretty like relaxed. I feel like these will go so well with that jacket. This is also what they look like on the back. Pretty standard jeans. Now let's compare them to the Timu versions right off the bat. They look a completely different color. I'm sorry, what in the hell? These are cute. I mean, I actually prefer the color slightly of these ones because I like that more neutral toned kind of pair of jeans, if you know what I mean. These ones are like blue blue, whereas these ones are like ashy blue. So I like these. They do also have the frayed edge on the top, but these feel a lot lighter and they just don't feel as good quality as the Shein ones. These only actually have one like stitching detail going down the leg, whereas Shein and had two. Just saying. But yeah, this is what they look like. I mean, they are similar-ish. But I feel like for Timu to use the same photo as the Shein pair and like think that people aren't gonna notice the difference is crazy to me. So I guess let's try these on with the matching coats from the matching stores and see how they compare. All right, so here is the Timu outfit on first. We have the coat, which I actually feel like it's not thick enough to be a coat. It's more of like a shacket. I'm literally just wearing this with nothing underneath as more of a top because I just feel like the fabric is more meant for that. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's okay. Quality wise, it's not amazing. But then again, I don't really expect amazing for this kind of price point. I do wish that I could find something like this that was amazing quality because design wise, I really like the look of it. As for the jeans, this is what the jeans look like. I mean, they have pockets which are working. So that's great. That's front and back. I feel like they look okay on. I wouldn't say they're like life changing or anything, but they're just okay. I guess I try the Shein version of this outfit and compare it to see what it looks like. All right, here we are. This is the Shein version. I've also got the little scarf on, which obviously the Timu one didn't come with, which is so sad. I do think that the scarf does make a big difference to this outfit. 
I am completely gutted that the sleeves do not have that black sort of trimming because I feel like that makes all the difference as well. The biggest thing that I have seen in terms of difference with this jacket is the fact that the sleeves are just so wide on the Shein version. Like, look how much room I have. Whereas the Timu one was just way smaller, there was a lot less fabric. This one is also way longer in my opinion. As for the jeans, this is what they look like on. They're super baggy just like the Timu ones. I mean, the color, I definitely prefer the Timu ones. I do like the fact that this has like double the stitching, which is obviously the feature of these jeans. So I feel like Timu just got a little bit lazy with it. But yeah, all in all, the jeans are okay. I feel like the quality is better on the Shein ones, but I just prefer the Timu color. All right, now moving on to the next item of clothing. We're now gonna be trying out this cardigan. As you can see, they again used exactly the same photo for both of these stores. Now on Shein, I managed to get this for 13 pounds at 70, which I would say is quite Quite affordable however on Timu which normally I would say is cheaper for things this was 19 pounds 29 I don't really know what's going on with Timu because I swear they claim to be like the cheapest place to buy things and I feel like they're getting more and more expensive actually so anyways here we have the Shein version this is what it looks like it is so adorable it has these tiny little embroidered sort of flowers all over it it's a pretty simple cardigan as you can see but look how adorable the little flowers are. I actually love them. The cardigan style is just open. It doesn't have any buttons or anything, but yeah, I mean, it feels okay. It's not like amazing quality, but then again, what can you expect for 13 pounds? And now moving on to the Timu version which looks already way different. I just don't know what Timu is doing. Okay, right off the bat, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? This cardigan is like a larger version of the photo. What is going on with these massive flowers? I swear somebody who works at Timu just like made a mistake because why would you not want to advertise this version? Because I feel like the flowers are bigger, so equally that means that's better. I mean, look how giant these embroidered flowers are. They're so big compared to the one from Shein. I mean, look at the difference. This is a like for like. Color wise, it looks like they literally use the same thread, but this one is just so much chunkier. Also, the quality of this one does feel better. Like the knit is way nicer. I really, really like how thick and like chunky this is. It just has a lot more weight to it than the Shein one. And this one actually has buttons, so it does up. That is pretty cool. I guess I understand why this one was so much more money. I feel like they definitely went the extra mile in terms of quality. I just don't understand why they use the same photo as the listing on Shein, though. I guess let's try these on side by side and see what they look like. All right, so here is the Timu version of the cardigan. I'm obsessed with this. Now, the nature of this knit is the fact that it is quite, like, whole. It has got a lot of holes in it, but it's still keeping me really warm. It's very cold in this room right now. Ah, oh, it just feels so nice and so cozy. I absolutely love the quality. The placement of the flowers is really nice. It's a little bit annoying though, because this one and this one are the same color and they're really close together. So they could have probably made this a different color. But apart from that, I've got no complaints. I really, really like this. Now let's compare it to the Shein one. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, so objective Objectively speaking, I would say comparing this to the Timu one, I mean, this is just not as good. The Timu one is way chunkier, the flowers are bigger, it's just a no-brainer, right? However, there's a question that it raises. I mean, the Timu one wasn't what I pictured. I got sent a better version of something that I saw, but it isn't the item that I paid for. Whereas this, this is actually what I saw in the photo, and I mean, it's exactly as the photo said. It's a thin cardigan, it's got small flowers, it's exactly what I ordered. So I don't know if me receiving the better version from Timu is better or worse because although I got a better product, it's not what I paid for. So I don't really know where that leaves me, but I still prefer the Timu one. I just feel like it's a little bit better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you prefer this one or do you prefer the Timu one? I think I definitely prefer the Timu one. All right, now moving on to the next item, we actually have another accessory. This time we have this handbag. As soon as I saw this, I fell in love. Now on Timu, this one was £4.18, very, very affordable, but it is 
is a very small bag, so definitely bear that in mind. But on Shein, I managed to get this for £3.84, so a little bit cheaper. And these are the two handbags. This is how they arrived right off the bat. I feel like the Shein one is just a smidge smaller. I mean, at a first glance, they look exactly the same, don't they? But look, this one is definitely way smaller than the Timu one. The heart placement and everything about it, like the way it's been manufactured, is exactly the same. So that really baffles me because why make one smaller than the other? I just don't understand that. The handles are really cute. They're kind of made of like a silicone, stretchy type of material, but I actually have to say there is a slight difference. This one is a little bit more like worn. I just mean color wise. This one looks way more like darker in color. Do you know what I mean? All in all though, they look so similar, but not enough for me to think that they're made from the same manufacturer. I don't really know what to make of this one. Is this the same product or not? I mean, size wise is different, but everything else is pretty similar. So I'll let you guys be the judge. And now the very last product we're gonna be putting to the test is another hair clip. Now, now this one, again, they used exactly the same photo. Price points were different. On Timu, this cost £2.48. However, on Shein, it was £1.41. This is how they arrived. They arrived in completely different packages. First up, I'm gonna show you guys the Shein version. This is what it looks like. I really, really love that embroidered flower. I think that one looks so adorable with the cardigan as well. How cute is it? It's like the perfect hair clip. Now, the Timu version comes sealed like this. So let's take a little look. Right off the bat, I can see that the clip is completely different. I mean, not even color wise, but like size wise too. This one is just way bigger and the shade of brown is completely different. However, I would say the flower is pretty much exact. I mean, this one is obviously just a little bit larger in the middle. So again, another product that has been marketed as the same product. However, it is completely different. All right, guys. So that was everything for today's video. Let me know your comments about this whole topic in the comment section below because I feel like stores should not be able to do this. I get that the product from Timu has been very similar to the photos, but it's never really been exact. I feel like Shein, on the other hand, is pretty good at putting out a photo and actually the product turning up and looking like it. I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, there's been times where I preferred the Shein version and there's been times where I've actually preferred the Timu version, such as with the cardigan situation. I mean, this was way better than the Shein one. As always, let me know which one of these items was your favorite and if you want to see any more videos like this in the future definitely give this video a huge thumbs up but that is all from me thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next one bye